Why do comic books prefer to be close to peppermint patty candy bars? Well, because they like to be near mint. Ha <laughs> ha! Five comics you can get for under $100 each. Stay tuned to see what they are. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And hopefully, you will be able to hear me. I found out what the problem was with my microphone, so I apologize. The last video I did with the five books for under $100, they said halfway through the microphone and the volume just shut off. Uh, but I found that there was a separate way that you have to charge the microphone. It's a little different than uh, any camera I've ever had, so I apologize about that, but I figured it out. But now we won't have to have that problem again. So I have five new books that you guys could pick up that would easily be found for under $100 each. As a matter of fact, most of these books you could probably get for under $10 each. So these are definitely books you can add to your collection uh, keep in mind that there's always risks involved, but if you're only going to spend a little bit of money, that's the best way to go. So if you wanted cheaper books to add to your collection, these are ones you might consider. All right, so the first one we got, as you can see, I paid a whole $3.25 for this book. This is the um, New 52 Futures End Justice League Dark, issue number one. Uh, there have been some rumors going around uh, either Justice League Dark TV show or even eventually getting to the movies. Not sure about that. That's why I posted this one as number one. Uh, the first one to, to pick out of the five. I always do the least and then go to the best at the end. So it might be something to take a chance on. I mean, this is a two ninety nine cover, so I wouldn't probably spend more than $6 for this book. But it's definitely worth taking the chance on if you could get it for a cheap price. Uh, this is one I bought, you know, the day it came out, so it's going to be a little different for you guys. Uh, this is Spawn issue number nine. Uh, I bought the original. I think I have issue one through 22 or 23 that I all bought the day they came out as I was a kid. Uh, but this is the first appearance of Angela. Now, that um, is now a Marvel property, but this was her first appearance. Uh, easy book to uh, to be able to acquire. This was back when McFarlane was doing uh, the issues of Spawn. Uh, I think he only went to like issue 13 or something like that before somebody else took over. I don't remember. It's been decades since I've read these. But uh, hard to get this one in really high grade because of the white background. Uh, a lot of people read these books. So you're going to get a lot of dirt and fingerprints and stuff like that. But again, this is another book you're talking maybe ten or fifteen dollars in very fine denier mint, so it's going to be very easy to acquire. Uh, who knows what they're doing? I think they said it's either a cousin or a sister or somehow related to Thor now. So who knows? With the fact that they're adding all these females to movies and TV shows these days, maybe she gets her spot a couple years down the line. All right, next one. If you like the TV show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which they have renewed for, I believe, a sixth season, really like the show, this is definitely a book for you. Uh, this is Shattered Heroes. This is Battle Scar issue number one. It's a limited series, um, one of six. This is the first uh, comic book appearance of Agent Coulson. So Agent Coulson was not originally in the comics. They made the movie the character... And then later on, they made the comic book character, just like Quake. But uh, if you want his first appearance, this is an easy one to get. Absolutely love this cover. I love Taskmaster. Master, I always thought he was a uh, a great villain, just like the way he drew up. As a matter of fact, he was actually supposed to make an appearance in the first Deadpool movie. It's a shame that they didn't have the budget to include him, because I thought that would have been really cool to see. But, again, this is a book you could probably pick up all day for under... $10, $15 in higher grade. So if you like Agent Coulson and, you know, who knows what's going to happen with this book, but if you could get it cheap, might be something to pick up. And it's, again, a cheap book to add to your collection, you know, especially for people who can't spend hundreds of dollars on books. Now, this is a great book for people who cannot afford his first appearance. This is another book I bought the day it came out. 
Um, I think I have issue one through like 78 or 77. I had the complete run when I was a kid and then stopped at the time I was going to college because um, I actually had the subscription, but um, we had little P.O. boxes at the college campus and they were basically little shoe boxes almost like on a shelf and they kept destroying the comic. So I had to stop the subscription. And at that point, I pretty much was done with collecting most of the comics that I had. Um, so this is Punisher issue number one in the limited series. Uh, there is a um, issue one through five mini series you can also get. Um, this, the number one issue is, again, you could get that under $100, but it's going to cost you about the $50 range. I have that. It's a Mike Zet, uh, Mike Zek run. I have all five. I bought them when I was a kid. Didn't buy them the day they came out, but I think I paid maybe like $4 a piece. Uh, this is a book easily you can get for under $10. So as you can see, a lot of these books, you could probably get all five of these for under $100. So I wanted to make sure they're pretty reasonable for people that even have the smallest of budgets. So the season two of the Punisher TV show has pretty much wrapped up at this point. So it's just a matter of time of when they release it. Uh, they haven't had a, an official date yet. So as the first appearance of Punisher, second appearance of Punisher, and the other miniseries start getting out of some people's price range, this is the next best thing. It is a number one issue of his, uh, his first ongoing series. So it might be something to pick up. Again, I paid a total of 75 cents for this book back in the days. Just shows how old I am. All right. Now, this is a book many people may not be thinking about when you're looking to get a first appearance. Because technically, this is a major character's first appearance, albeit as an infant. This is a book I can definitely recommend for cable fans out there. Uh, this is Uncanny X-Men issue number 201. It is the first appearance of Baby Cable. So obviously he wasn't a superhero when he was a little infant, but this is where he got his real first appearance. So if New Mutants 87 is out of your price, price range at this point, and, uh, or you just don't feel like spending $100 plus for that book, this is the next best thing. You could probably get this book for under $35, $40 in very fine to near mint. I bought this a couple years ago. I spent a total of $9 on this book. So there are deals to be out there. This is probably a very fine uh, grade for this comic. So it's definitely worth looking into because Josh Broden, who plays Cable, he signed a multi-contract movie deal. So his career is far from over with the Cable character. And eventually he's going to be getting his own either solo movie or be the leader of X-Force. I'm not sure how they're doing it. But uh, you haven't seen The Last of Cable yet. So if he continues to gain in popularity, more and more people are going to make the other books just that much un more unreachable. And this might be a book that slips under the radar because most people might not be looking or even know about this book. So check it out and uh, wait for a deal. So that's it. Those are the five books. I will have many more of these to come. If you didn't see one, you never know. It might be in a future video. So I try and do... Uh, some DC, but I mostly most of my collection is probably 85% Marvel. So just keep that in mind. It's not like I hate DC. I just collected more Marvel over the years. But I will try anytime I can to at least put a book or two of DC in there to show the love for both. So if you appreciate this, give it a thumbs up. Hit the share button if you want other people to see these kind of videos. See if it helps them, especially newer collectors who may not have a lot of money because maybe they have you know bills to pay or they just got married or they're in college, whatever, or they just don't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber, sh subscriber shout out. And if you want to be one, just hit subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you want one and I'll put you on the list. Just keep in mind the list is growing, so it might be a little while, but keep watching to the end. And uh, speaking of which, I did some changes a little bit with the ending of my video. Uh, so far, no one's noticed it yet. So I want to see if you guys can catch what they are. So if you notice anything, let me know. There's a couple of things. We'll see who can get the most. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And say what you want. I always hated Mohawk Storm. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. 
If you want to check out some of my We Love Comics merchandise and support the channel, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.